So this weekend at 4 a.m. Eastern, for whatever reason, Tesla posted a picture to Twitter showing the first production Cybertruck that has come out of Gigafactory Texas, which is really exciting, meaning we are super close to production. And just a couple of days later, Elon Musk may have intentionally or unintentionally given us our best hint yet at what Cybertruck prices might be. So even though production most likely has started with Cybertruck probably very slowly, we still don't know the specs. <laughs> We're waiting on the final specs. We still don't know the prices. There's a lot about Cybertruck we don't know. We still don't know all of the features. It looks like it does have four-wheel steering, which is seen in tons of different videos of the Cybertruck driving around with or without camo. But that feature was not touted at the original unveil back in 2019. So today I want to do a little speculation and I think kind of zoom into the price especially because I really think this comment from Musk is giving us a huge hint as to what we can expect for Cybertruck pricing. So just a couple days after Tesla puts up the picture of the Cybertruck coming out of Gigafactory Texas, Ford lowers the prices on the F-150 Lightning by up to $10,000. So that's pretty interesting. I don't think that's coincidence. Maybe it is, but it is quite the coincidence if it is, because that is a huge price drop on the F-150 Lightning. We already know that Ford is losing money on the Lightnings so far, so I'm surprised to see this price drop, but there is a lot of inventory at dealers, so at the same time, I'm not surprised they do need to move these units. And this doesn't include dealer markups. You don't normally get MSRP on these vehicles. Of course, sometimes you can, but for the most part, you're going to be paying a little extra money to the dealer for uh, you know their services to bring you that vehicle. Now, Elon Musk responded to a post on Twitter about these F-150 Lightning price drops, and here is the key, our hint into Cybertruck pricing. Elon Musk said the Ford Lightning is a good vehicle, just somewhat expensive, especially given the high interest rates these days for any kind of loan. Now, there we go. It, he is already saying those truck prices are expensive. So I'm going to take that at face value, and there's really two ways you can look at this. Number one, that price, the number on the F-150 Lightning, is too high for a truck. Number two, the other way, which wouldn't be as optimistic, is that the Cybertruck is a way better vehicle. It has way more features and it's going to be more desired. So if it does come out with higher prices than the F-150 Lightning, it's basically justified because it's a better vehicle, you know, in, in Elon's mind. So those are kind of the two ways you can take it. But if he's just saying that raw price, uh, despite, you know, any other factors is too high, we can assume the Cybertruck is going to be less expensive than the F-150. So let's look at the F-150 prices. So the new prices on the F-150, the Pro, the base model is $49,900. XLT standard is $55,000 about. XLT extended is $70,000. Lariat standard is the same price, $70,000, except you get the smaller battery pack in that price. If you want the Lariat extended, so you have the higher range of 320 miles, that's $77,400. And then the Platinum, what the heck is going on there is $91,900. So just a reminder for the federal tax credit for the trucks, they have to be under $80,000. And so there's been a lot of back and forth as to whether the Cybertruck will meet that or not. Because on the one hand, of course, Tesla, you know, would love to be able to advertise like, hey, get your $7,500 tax credit with our Cybertruck. At the same time, I think for the first like six months or so, demand's going to be so high, I don't think it's going to matter. I think Tesla can price this at almost whatever they want, and they'll sell out of the, the first six months or so of supply. Uh, and maybe even more than that, until they need to bring prices down a little bit. I'm just hoping they <laughs> ignore that fact, but we'll see what happens. So now let's look back at the Cybertruck from Reveal, what the prices were back then. So the single motor rear wheel drive, which we probably won't exist ever, uh, but you know, if it does, is 250 miles of range, and that was going to be $39,900. So that actually does compare to Ford's lowest price of $49,900, so it's much cheaper uh, with better range. But it's a single motor, and again, we probably won't see that spec probably ever is my guess, but you never know. Uh, next is dual motor. So this was kind of the one that really blew everybody away. You get over 300 miles of range. So it was 300 plus back in the day. And the starting price was $49,900, which I think back then was like comparable to model three prices. They've changed so much back then, but I think that might've, that was definitely less than a performance back then. And it might've even been less than lo the long range model three back then. So everybody's kind of like, whoa, this whole folding, you know, design of the Cybertruck with the stainless steel and no paint is really making that big of a difference. Now, We've seen kind of the body castings and stuff, so maybe Tesla didn't get away with as many things as they wanted with the body, uh, but that's probably a conversation for another video. And then looking at the tri-motor, the top of the line, this was 500 plus miles of range, uh, which I'm still hoping for today, but that's probably not going to happen. And it was going to be priced at $69,900. So it, again, if Tesla could get away with that price on the top end, $69,900, they're still getting the full tax credit. Now, if we compare that $69,900, the top end, with Ford's 
let's ignore the platinum because I don't know. It's, well, okay. If we talk about the platinum, that's 91,000. It's not even comparable. But if you look at the Lariat extended, so that's the longer range F-150 Lightning, it's 320 miles is 77,000 versus Cybertruck back then their purported uh, price was going to be 69.9. So it's cheaper than that. Let's say they get it up to 79.9. So the prices are very comparable, slightly, you know, a few thousand dollars more for a top end Cybertruck versus uh, the Lariat extended edition. Prices are very comparable. You still um, are opting in. You still get that tax credit. So this makes me really optimistic that the top price we will see at reveal, again, it's all just speculation at this point, um, but the top price we're going to see is that $79,900. So that, or $79,999, whatever, you know, they actually put it as. So customers can still take advantage of the tax credit, but Tesla can kind of make as much money as they can off of Cybertruck. Because again, I, I firmly believe, now I'm not in this camp. I don't have, you know, the money for this. But I firmly believe they could price it at 100,000 and they would still sell out for a while because there's not going to be much production. They're going to have to ramp. There's so much demand. There's, you know, even just like kind of the influencer type of people now, like pretty much like me, who would spend more just so they could be one of the first so they can make videos about it and blah, blah, blah. And then maybe even flip it after that. Um, personally, if it was 100,000, I'm not getting it. It's <laughs> just like uh, too bad for me. Um, but I really think we can come in at that 79.9, especially when you're comparing it. You know, again, Musk is saying this is too expensive. So the Lariat extended 77,400. He's saying it's too expensive. So if he makes the Cybertruck 75,000, it's cheaper, it, slightly, it, it's a better value. And then you get the Tesla supercharging network and all the Tesla parts and blah, blah, blah. There's no paint. There's, there's, you know, manufacturing efficiencies that hopefully are there that they've learned from Model 3 and, and their other vehicle ramps. Um, the 4680 cells hopefully are ramping up, so so that can go uh, help the price as well. Now, range, I do want to comment on, there's lots of rumors going around of like 350 miles of range is going to be at release. Honestly, I see it. I would not be surprised, although I would be quite disappointed by that, especially when you compare it to the competition. You now have the Silverado that's coming out. It's the work truck. It's not widely available, but still, it's 450 miles of range. It's a real truck that, that uh, GM is making, and it has 450 miles of range, maybe slightly more than that. The initial testing is showing. You have, uh, you know, Lucid is over 500 miles of range. Of course, that's much smaller than a Cybertruck. Um, but to get 350 miles, it's Tesla's going to have to have this balance of like, using enough 4680s to make it good but not using too many so that they're not production limited because all sources as of now kind of point to like 4680 ramp is not going as beautifully and smoothly as they hoped but it's just a matter of time before it does so this initial Cybertruck may come with that 350 miles and then later we'll get you know a, a farther ranged version that's 500 miles or something I'm really hoping that 400 is at release um, I think that would kind of blow everybody away be really important but again it's, it comes back to the demand thing there's so much demand, they're going to sell these trucks when they're first released. Another thing Musk could be pointing at, because he did mention financing, maybe Tesla will do some special financing. I, I really don't think so, but just kind of a thought I had is that he mentioned financing, and sometimes you'll see these deals where it's like, we do 0% financing, blah, blah, blah. So maybe you know Tesla will try to help out on that end and, and keep prices down. It doesn't seem very likely to me, but I did notice that Tesla's financing prices are on their website right now. You should check for yourself. But for me, in my area... Tesla's financing uh, rates are lower than my local credit unions, which is the first time I've seen that from Tesla. So uh, you should check for your area, but you never know. Maybe that's part of what he's talking about. Now, another piece of this, Elon Musk did say Cybertruck features and prices would be different than they were at Reveal. Now, this is a quote from him, but I do want to put some context. It's from August 2022, so from a year ago. And this is when the prices of all the Tesla vehicles and like all vehicles were just like exploding and going crazy from like inflation or whatever the heck was happening. And so maybe this isn't as applicable today, uh, but here's what he said. He said, Cybertruck pricing, it was unveiled in 2019 and the reservation was $99. A lot has changed since then. Again, this is August, 2022. So the specs and the pricing will be different. I hate to give a sort of a little bit of bad news, but I think there's no way to sort of have anticipated quite the inflation that we've seen in the various issues. Now, again, since that quote, prices have come down dramatically for Tesla vehicles. And I was so excited when that was happening because I was like, oh my gosh, in the middle of the high prices, I was like, I'm screwed. No way I can get a Cybertruck. It's going to be so expensive. Now Tesla prices are like, you could almost like crashing. They're going down so quickly. And that is good news for Cybertruck in my opinion, because especially once you get past that first like huge amount of demand and you start pumping them out a little bit, prices hopefully will be reasonable instead of like too crazy. And then another aspect of this is the F-150 Lightning, I think I mentioned before, does have like dealer markup. So, you know, that's like a huge disadvantage that Ford has when they're trying to push these Lightnings out is the dealers really like limit them. 
by putting all these markups, but from my understanding, there's not much Ford can do about it. So um, anyway, I don't know. I was very excited to see this. I really believe now Cybertruck will be under 80000 meaning uh, tax credit. So again, if it was seventy nine nine, you're really looking at you know about 72000 which don't get me wrong, I wouldn't call that like cheap or affordable, but when you look at the overall truck market, uh, especially compared to just the F-150 Lightning, uh, now you're really talking. I mean, these are prices that you have enough of a market for. There are enough people that will pay that price. The Tesla will be pumping these out and um, we will hopefully get a decent range and, and all the good specs and everything. But um, yeah, <laughs> keep looking uh, forward to Cybertruck news because more things are happening every single day. There was, I think just today or yesterday, the Cybertruck coming out of the factory, like along with the Model Ys, it was just one, but still it's like coming out of the production area. It was produced and, and driving out of there. Uh, so really exciting stuff is happening. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments uh, below about Cybertruck. Are you going to get one? Because I'm super excited and I still see a lot of the back and forth of like, oh, it's so ugly. Nobody wants it. And then this is the best thing ever. Everybody wants it. Um, I think it's going to blow away expectations. And I think that people will be surprised the, the haters mostly are going to be surprised at how popular and how well this vehicle is going to do. I could be wrong. I'm always open to being wrong, but I really believe Cybertruck is going to blow everybody away, blow away their expectations. Unless you're an Uber bull, then, you know, maybe you might be slightly disappointed slash correct. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. You will see me in the next video. Uh, have a good one.